Welcome back to the channel. Josh here with Very Terrain, and I'm gonna tell you about my new bass boat that I bought this last May and finally got it to where I want. But before we jump into that, one, I've already recorded this entire video with my uh, DSLR camera and uh, the file got corrupt. So you're gonna get the cell phone, cell phone tour with no like lapel mic or anything. So I'm sorry, but not sorry. And also, <clears throat> Keep in mind, when we go through this boat, I wanna do a giveaway for two of you who come closest to guessing the price that I paid for this bass boat in May. So all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and comment the price that you think that I paid for this bass boat. And I will tell you all about it here in just a moment and why I bought it. So this bass boat, I've never really seen before. In fact, I've only seen two in my life and ridden in one as a co-angler. And a separate video, I think I'll still co-angle for a while. There's just too much to learn and too much to experience to start doing it on your own. I mean, unless you think you can beat some of the big sticks. Anyway, I digress, another video. But I bought this bass boat because the price was right. And to be honest, it's undervalued and not overpriced. The boat I'm talking about here is a Falcon F20 Predator which runs true to the 20 foot length. It's like 20 foot, two inches. But I fell in love with this boat because as a co-angler to run back up to the front and back to the back to net fish for your boater or whatever, but just moving around is so easy. So you could step on this center slam hatch and then just right over to the front deck. I know that's really stupid, but I was like, huh, this boat's worth checking out. I really like that little small little baby feature, even though there's so much more to a bass boat than that. This bass boat is unique for their rod lockers. They open vertically and they actually come with a little fitting in here, but I take it out because I can put more rods in there. So on this side and on that side, they open vertically. Now, one of the first things when this brand first started in 2015, uh, they had a complaint about their locks. So what they did was they upgraded to what I consider to be probably some of the best high quality locks out of any brand. And I don't even think they raised the prices on the boat. Another really cool feature on this boat is separate hatches on each side so that you can get to your batteries without having to get in the boat. Or you can open the entire thing like traditional bass boats. But just like the rod lockers, I can get up here outside of my boat, do work, put the, the, the rods back, and not have to worry about hopping in the boat, hopping out of the boat. You can do it all from outside of the boat. Extremely functional. This boat comes with helixes as standard equipment, but this boat has a 15 inch Solix G3 at the console. It has a Solix 10 G3 and a Hummingbird G4 just used for the Mega Live only. An Altrix 112. It comes with two 1100 gallon bilge pumps, which by the way, you can access yourself. If it goes out, you can fix it, but say you don't want to fix it yourself. You want to take it to a repair shop. The boat is made to be functional and to be user friendly because when you go and replace a bilge pump, if you have to do that, you can get right to it. It's not, you know, buried under the boat. You don't have to take the boat apart. So when you think about hundred to $150 per hour in labor costs, not having to tear your boat apart to get to your bilge pumps are a good thing. This Falcon trailer has trick steps, swing tongue, Fulton winches. Everything about this thing is beefy. Two wheels down here with a lock. Each one of the wheels have its own gas strut. If you can see that. Upgradable wheels if you want that kind of thing. I'm kind of flashy. One of the important things to me is that it looks good and that its performance is good. The price is right. It's roomy. What was the other thing I was looking for? Deep value. Has two eight foot power poles, an Atlas jack plate. Comes standard with a Fury a 23 pitch prop. Now, when I bought this boat, I bought it from a college angler whose dad bought him this 2022 Predator. And two years later, he's buying them a new Predator. But 
he's getting some up upgraded electronics, probably a C-Clear harness from what I understand. But anyway, this motor for a 2022, when he sold it to me, had 380 hours, which raised the flag. When I talked to him, it made total sense. As a competitive angler in college, they side scanned and idled everywhere. All most of those hours are idle hours. They didn't cast unless they seen a fish on the electronics. And even though most of these boats don't have them, you can order it with a dual console, but the room is awesome. Now I know we're kind of jumping all over the place, but I wanna make sure that I tell you about this boat. That way you can assess the price properly. That beam back there from left to right is 99 inches wide and it has a third main beam stinger grid for their hull design. Couple those two together and I'm telling you four foot wakes are nothing. This boat handles amazing in rough water and it's still fun to drive. It's very responsive. It kind of, kind of reminds me of a Phoenix except for it handles the rough water a little bit better and it doesn't slap as hard. Kind of kind of reminds me of a Skeeter in that fact where it's just a little bit more bougie of, um, of a ride. The console interface, it's and finishes, may not be for everybody, but it's very basic. Radio, Bluetooth control, jack plate, gauge, and your interface for everything else, water pressure, trim, gas is all right there. Blinker trims on both sides, one for your motor trim and one for your jack plate. And rocker switches. Rocker switches, why are they important? They're functional. If you're out on the water, and you got one of those electronic screens and that goes out, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Worst case scenario with a rocker switch, you can take a rocker switch off one and put it on the other and you're on, you taking care of business on the water. If you wanna replace it, it's a $12 switch. This is what I'm talking about. The, the brand owners and the manufacturer that Falcon is put together a boat that is high quality, high performance without pinching you, the consumer, for every penny you got. This boat brand new with upgraded everything, ready to fish, is like 89,000. And that's a hint to the price, <sighs> even though I didn't pay that. <clears throat> we have Sea Star steering. We have remote drain plug. We have a Minn Kota 440 PCL, I think, four bank charger. Let's be honest. Some of us like to pee off the boat and some of us also don't have the equipment quite make it over the gunrail or the boat. And if you're on my boat and you pee on my boat, you'd be a little upset. That's why I love boats with this back pad. Grab onto this bad boy. And even for us shorter fellas, we can, you know, get it all in the water. This boat fully weighted down, tournament ready, two people, full gas tank. You're looking at low to mid seventies. Now, if you are a guy who doesn't really like to drive a boat to chime locks. Now listen closely. This boat, at least in my experience, getting about 66, if it's not weighted properly, it can start to walk on you. No big deal, a lot of boats do that. Guys, this is my new bass boat. Thanks for watching, I love the boat. Remember, comment the price that you think it is and subscribe to the channel and we will send out two hats that are awesome Richardson hats. They have black, white, flat bill, whatever you choose and the emblem is made out of high quality PVC, and I'll be more than happy to send that to whoever gets closest to the price of this boat. Remember, it's a 2022 with 380 hours, and I bought it back in May of 2024, and finally got it where I want it.